Hello friends lintel and beam both are horizontal members of the building still they are different from each other both have different functions and vary in technical aspect as well so in this video we will see the differences between beam and lintel so let's start concept beams are the horizontal members used to support vertically applied loads it is a horizontal member that is arranged parallel to slab whereas Lintels are horizontal members used to support masonry over windows, doors and other openings in a wall. Types The different types of beams are cantilever beam, simply supported beam, fixed beam, overhanging beam, etc. They can be of different materials, but usually they are in the form of RCC. Whereas lintels are mostly simply supported. Types of lintels are wooden lintel, concrete lintel, stone lintel brick lintel steel lintel etc nowadays wooden lintels are not used because wood is liable to rot and also damages during a fire and hence may cause the collapse of the wall above it load transfer path the beam carries the load from slab and transfers it to column from column it is transferred to the footing and from footing finally to the soil whereas Lintel carries the load of the wall above the openings and transfers it to walls only. The beam provides support to the slab resting on it. It also provides support for the floor and ceilings. Whereas main function of lintel is to support the masonry wall above the openings like door, window and transfer its load to side walls. Behavior Beam may act as a fixed beam or simply supported beam based on support conditions whereas lintel generally acts as a simply supported beam structural member beam is a framing member and part of the structural frame whereas lintel is not a framing member and not a part of structural frame importance in structure the beam is the most crucial component of the building and hence it needs due consideration while designing whereas most of the times lintels are neglected at times these structures are not even provided which ultimately leads to diagonal crack at openings but they can be advantageous in reducing heat loss from a building and can restrict the occurrence of dampness and condensation construction process the beam is normally casted with the slab as a whole except in case of precast beam Beams are not simple and easy to construct as compared to lintel. On the other hand, the lintel can be casted separately during the construction of a masonry wall. Precast lintels can also be used. Lintels are simple and easy to construct as compared to beam. Location: The beam is supported on the column and wall. Its end point is rested on columns. Whereas the lintel is placed on door or window frame or sometimes on the wall its end point is rested on walls feasibility in design design of beam is not easy as compared to lintel as it is a part of structural frame but nowadays the job has been become easy as many 3d softwares are available for design whereas design of lintel is easy as it is not a part of structural frame geometry beams may be straight curved or tapered in plan on the other hand lintels may be straight or curved in plan but the latest trend is to avoid lintel and provide a deep beam that is up to the top of door or window frame which results in saving time and offer more sound and durable construction width the width of beam can be equal to or more than the size of the wall below it depends on the load whereas width of lintel is equal to the size of the wall below length beam can be of long span or short span depending upon structural configuration length of the beam is much longer as compared to its cross section whereas lintel is basically a short span member length of the lintel is not much longer as compared to its cross section cross sectional area cross sectional area of beam is more as compared to lintel whereas the cross sectional area of lintel is less as compared to beam so friends see you in the next video thanks for watching